Hi, welcome to KTV5 video tutorial. It's a user wish, sort of tooth belt or cam belt. Yeah, I used some parameters so you could change, of course, this profile for the tooth, and of course you can change the number of the tooth. Let's go for let's say twenty. See, very easy. So. Let's have some fun with Katir V5. For this exercise I will need some parameters, so let's do some parameters first. I need one for the number of the tooths, so this will be an integer value. So go for integer, new parameter of type integer and call this one tooth number. And let's start with 20 apply and another one of type length and this might be length left which could be 10 another one which could be length center 10 again and another one which is called length right which could be 10 as well and another one which is called pattern length and this might be for starters 30 or just add a formula which is you have to add the length plus this length plus that length so it should be 30 right now and confirm now let's do a sketch maybe on that plane hide these elements as usual and this could look something like this. I don't want these horizontal and vertical constraints, so I will delete them. Then give it some dimensions. Let's say this one is, for example, 5. You could do a parameter for this one as well. This should be right there, coincident. And I need an angle, so I will move this a little bit and this a little bit. Make sure there are not two points which are vertical aligned. You will get a problem. So make sure there is some sort of angle right there, which is different from 90 degrees. Let's say this is 95. And this one is 95 as well. This should be coincident with that line. And there should be a distance. This could be, let's say, 10 or let's say 15. Okay. Then there should be one dimension no this should be from that point to this point it should be horizontal and this should be length left okay this should be length right and this one should be 
length center. Okay. That's easy constraint, that's okay right now. So leave the sketch. And here I want there to be some fillets, so let's you could select those corners and make a fillet let's say three millimeters and okay nice now I want to make an extrude so I will go for surface Where is it? Make an extrude with that sketch, maybe in the other direction, and make it, it doesn't matter, make it five millimeters. Okay, then I want to have a pattern. So go for a rectangular pattern with that extrude and this should be the tooth number and the spacing should be the pattern length okay reference direction should be Y and confirm now let's join these surfaces really so I want to have the extrude plus the pattern and confirm now it's joined now I need an extract I want to extract that edge let's go for extract really no propagation go for let's say tangent continuity and select over here where the original one is not at the end of the pattern go right here and it should so i think i selected the sketch so hide the sketch some days everything doesn't work and now let's select this one and go for a tangent continuity so you get the complete edge okay now I could hide that surface nice now I need another sketch and this should be a line in that plane hide these elements go for a line this line should be coincident with the y-axis and this point should be aligned with the z-axis and the length should be add a, for, add a formula and that's tooth number multiplied with the pattern length okay confirm now I can go for a law so maybe I should do another no, just leave the sketch and insert another geometrical set call it laws there yeah. And that sketch would be for the law, that's okay. And the, this one as well, but I move it up right here. Make this the working object. And this should not be right here, it should be in the body. So go to that one and confirm. And it's okay right here. Now let's go for our law. 
reference line would be this line and the definition is this curve, that sketch and confirm okay now I need my guide curve sort of which would be the curve for the belt and as I already mentioned hopefully you have, if you want to have a closed belt you have to do it with two curves you can, because you cannot use a closed one so I will do only one part and leave the other one up to you so let's go for a sketch maybe on that plane hide and I will go for a spline and this could look something like this for example and leave the sketch this should be a sketch right here so I move it up to that geometrical set and then I need a curve which would be a parallel curve to this one so go for parallel select it and you can move it to inner or to the outer side wherever you want I go for the outer one and the difference should be the distance should be let's say five yeah that's okay nice now I need a sweep so I go for surfaces and use a sweep and I use a linear one with two limits so the first guide curve, curve should be this one the second is this, that one and the spine could be this or that I go for the first one and I want to control the length in one direction by a law which law? by this law which I already made right here close and confirm let's take a look looks good if I change the tooth number let's say to 50 very nice okay let's hide for a moment that extract and the parallel curve and this is the surface right here, the sweep, yeah. Now I will extract that edge. Make it point continuity and go for the edge. Confirm. Now I could hide the surfaces as well. All of them. And the extract, of course, should be in the curves geometrical set. So hide these and now I could do extrude with that sketch. No, not sketch, because I extract I have to do a sketch first. So I'm a little bit confused today. Okay, now I could project this curve into my sketch. That's the extract 2. This takes a while. It really takes a while. A very long while. That's crazy. Still waiting. Come on, let's go. And leave this sketch and move that sketch up to the sketches. 
Okay. Because extrude is a sketch based feature. I have to have a sketch. So that sketch should do the trick. So change to part design. And now I could make an extrude. Yes, that's okay. With that sketch. Yeah. Could do it mirrored if you want. And okay. And I got my belt. Yeah. You could change the tools. Let's say thirty. And of course you could change right here the parameters. Let's go for let's say five for the center. So that's oh yeah, that's a problem because I yeah. Five doesn't work because it was ten and the fillets were three. So I'm eleven but I can make it bigger. Let's go to fifteen. Yeah, that's possible and you could change that value and so on. So I hope it's helpful for the user and hope you enjoyed this one. If yes, give it a like down below or just leave a nice comment. Uh, thanks for watching. See you to the next one, which might be the same exercise in Siemens NX. Bye bye.